Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're taking a look at the latest crypto news, some of which might be really good and some that might just be absolute bullshit. We're going to get into it and we'll find out exactly what is going on in the crypto space today. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so, you'll stay up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't joined us in Discord though, the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out okay let's get right on into it there's a few things i want to talk about there's a few articles here that caught my interest today and i thought they'll be interesting to present them to you guys and get your thoughts and opinions in the comments below so light it up let's go ahead and get into it though right we're going to talk with this one to start with ripple what happens to XRP price when the SEC loses? Question mark. Will it go to the moon? Um, so a couple of things on the title alone. Okay, so the first thing is it's assuming that the SEC are losing because it's what happens to the price when the, the SEC lose, not if the SEC lose. So it's making the assumption that the SEC are going to lose. Now, I don't think they can afford the loss. Therefore, I think they're going to be encouraged to settle. Um, and I think it will end in settlement rather than them losing. They'll save face. They'll be a really minor fine for Ripple and XRP will get clarity and, you know, bit of bang, bit of bish. Uh, all the way uh, we can carry on in the crypto space. The SEC will continue to, um, you know, enforce through action rather than uh, actually clarity. That's my take on it. Of course, they could gamble, they could roll the dice, and they could leave the judge to kind of come up uh, with, uh, with the answer, which I think uh, it, it will result in the SEC losing. So I think the, art the title of this article is, is interesting, it's assuming that the, the, the SEC are just going to roll those dice and run with it. But I think it'll be settlement. I've said this forever anyway. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the meat of this thing, right? So um, there would be likely a uh, be a tidal wave of XRP investors when XRP wins uh, its legal battle with the SEC. There are now 11 entities supporting Ripple uh, with uh, the amicus uh, briefs. And uh, there's actually a long list in there, including Coinbase as well. Uh, Deaton's is obviously in there as well. I'm not going to go into all the ends and outs of that, but it is interesting and some real good points that are, are strongly backing Ripple's narrative. So uh, the case that the SEC have is incredibly weakened, specifically more on the Deaton side with 75,000 XRP investors claiming that actually you know, $15 billion worth of damage were caused by the SEC, not Ripple. And of course, you know, you have other uh, actual real life companies also talking about how they use the XRPL without Ripple knowing about it, and therefore, how can it possibly be centralized? Yada, yada, yada. So, you know, essentially, I think the SEC case is weak, but let's face it, I don't think they can risk the loss. Okay, so whether Ripple are going to roll the dice with the judge or uh, the SEC is yet to be seen. But I do think that a settlement will be reached, uh, an agreement will be reached between Ripple and the SEC. And that being said, when that happens, the price is more than likely going to explode, right? I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of all of this. Um, but essentially, yes, I think the price is going to explode. I've always said this. You guys have to look at other cases with similar kind of scenarios. Um, and the price, I think, will explode. As long as there's clarity for XRP as it is today, that will give the US exchanges free reign to kind of relist it. And that will encourage uh, in investors to come back in and try to capitalize in on the FOMO that would be driven from it. Okay, so... Yeah, I think the price will uh, will go up in value. Do I think it's going to go to those crazy high numbers? No. Um, do I think it's going to be a reasonable new all-time high? Yes. Okay, so I think there's going to be some good price appreciation for XRP. But that being said, I don't think uh, it's going to be this year. And that, that kind of splits opinions. People do think that it's going to be this year. I think it's actually probably going to be next. Um, but we'll see, right? I think that with all these, uh, 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 if I can even speak today, these amicus briefs, I think the SEC are going to push for delays they're going to want to you know take some time to to kind of you know combat these and i think that's going to be approved and therefore i think the case will continue uh, getting dragged out longer and i'm not opposed to that i think that's actually a positive for the price action of xrp let it cool off let it reset and let it get into a really good technical position for good growth later and um, so yeah i think this is reasonable it's a reasonable expectation um uh, that um the SEC have caused uh, the price of XRP to go up. So are we looking at the SEC, uh, you know, 
and XRP as a security that we are, we're betting on uh, or requiring the SEC's law action or, or law enforcement action um, to raise the price of XRP. Interesting, just to kind of throw that out there. Let's move on, though. Um, I do like this one, but there's some more interesting stuff that I find quite humorous. Um, so Dogecoin will pass all-time high as Elon Musk confirms integration with Twitter. Here are the details. So straight off the bat, the title, this is why I call these things bullshit sometimes. Um, this is a guarantee. News, uh, crypto news flash right here is saying that Dogecoin will pass all-time high. That's a statement. That's not even a question. There's no question mark in that. They're saying that Dogecoin will pass an all-time high. So if I invest now and, you know, I hold it and it doesn't go up to new all-time high, can I sue crypto news flash? Hmm. Interesting. We'll think about that. Um, I wonder if they've got a disclaimer anywhere. Have they got a disclaimer? Not financial advice? Yada, yada, yada. Don't know. Uh, Any hoot. I'm not a financial advisor, but I find this quite comical. So I'm not going to go into the ins and the outs of it. Basically, people are speculating that because uh, of the integration uh, with Twitter, um, that it's going to make the price of Dogecoin moon. Now, essentially, if the price of Dogecoin is to go up, we need a couple of factors to be under control. We need the supply and we need the demand. Okay, so for price to go up, the demand has to outpace the amount of coins that there are. Uh, so basically, you know, we need to see the supply shrink and we need to see the demand go up. Then the price will float up to the upside and we'll probably see a new all-time high. Now, let's go to the integration of this. If our expectations are that there's an increase in demand uh, and a, a fewer uh, or less demand or, or less supply, uh, then essentially what we need to see here is continued hodlers. Right? So integration is great, but actually I see this as a negative because I think this integration is going to increase selling pressure. People are going to be paid out in Dogecoin, right? potentially, and what they're going to do with that is they're going to sell it. They're going to use it for payments, which makes sense because no one wants to hold Dogecoin long term. Um, so you're going to use it for what it was intended to. Well, it wasn't really intended for anything. Scrap that. It was a joke after all. Um, but essentially, you know, they're going to use it. They want to get rid of it as fast as they can. That increases the selling pressure. OK, so the longer that they potentially hold on to this shit coin, uh, the less value that it has. Right now, obviously, in bull runs, there's a lot of people who speculate on the royal, royal shit coins, the micro cap coins, the ones that are um, like trillions in, in, or billions and billions of coins right there out there. Uh, the ones that are a fraction of a penny. These get lots of speculation around them because if people invest small amounts of money. The price goes up and they, they think they're going to be millions right and um, so dogecoin enters into that category we have to kind of admit this now what we have to kind of think about here is that if there's an increase in selling pressure is the price actually going to get the chance to go up probably not um so outside of a bull run i don't see this thing potentially actually holding a new all-time high anytime soon and i think it would require a serious amount of fomo to come in now that's possible of course under this news but at some point you're only fomoing into dogecoin to sell it for a profit so you're going to become a seller at some point. And your game here, if you're into Dogecoin, is to sell it before other people sell it. That's essentially the game. You've got to sell it before someone else sells it. Uh, otherwise, the price drops down on you. So, yeah, I don't think this is a, this is a, this is a good thing. It is what it is. People will always speculate on the meme coins. They'll speculate on these. Now, of course, we can hope that maybe Elon Musk is going to fix the foundation of Dogecoin and actually make it suitable uh, as, uh, as a, you know, an actual currency that can be used uh, for payments because at the moment it's i think this is causes too much damage that being said i came across this dogecoin should be a cardano sidechain now this could potentially fix a lot of the problems with dogecoin um, and actually i think this would make a lot of sense as well so one of those watch this space ada would potentially explode as a on the back of this yes potentially um but Charles Lawson says said that uh, uh, that he would facilitate Dogecoin migration uh, to be a Cardano sidechain for free. So this could be really, really good for Dogecoin, right? So as I was saying, the foundations would need to be fixed for Dogecoin. This could actually fix the foundations of Dogecoin and could be really, really positive for the space. Now I'm not going to go into all the details of this. It's kind of really just saying, um, you know, Ada would explode uh, in price. Now, again, another statement here, not question. I think it's uh, it's more likely that actually it's going to follow the rest of the market, um, but people do like something to FOMO into. They wouldn't FOMO into ADA, but ADA would be used for the transactions, and so therefore you would see a potential increase slightly in the amount of ADA volume required to, to kind of process Doge-based transactions. So it'll be interesting. Um, so I found this one interesting along with the Elon Musk side of things, um, and I would support 
Dogecoin on Cardano, that would make a lot more sense to me and it would fix a lot of the problems and we could actually start taking Dogecoin seriously rather than thinking of it as the joke that it was created to be. Okay, um, so we'll keep it leave it there. It is an interesting one, but we've got more to talk about. So let's move on. Let's talk about this. This is pretty interesting. Ethereum based Solana and Polygon's NFTs can be traded by 4 billion users worldwide, Facebook and Instagram. Um, so basically, Instagram creators will soon be able to mint and trade their NFTs on and off the platform. Meta is offering the feature for video NFTs, uh, as well as the ability to connect Solana blockchain um, and the Phantom wallet. And so this is pretty big. This is going to be pretty good. Now, I was talking a few days ago, maybe a week ago, about a potential NFT uh, boom, like an NFT kind of bull run, like we had kind of like the uh, the altcoin season, maybe there's an NFT season uh, as well. But we've seen a lot of growth. Um, but obviously, Solana projects have been moving away from Solana, they've been going elsewhere, Polygon's been exploding up, Cardano has been blowing up on the NFT side of things as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. And this is just another milestone kind of ticked off with huge adoption for NFTs, and a what even wider global uh, market. So I do think this is really positive. Um, but do be prepared that there's going to be a lot more shit NFTs out there. Okay, let's face it, every kind of Instagram, I don't know what you want to call them, influencer, I guess, yeah, with their photos posing in a certain way, there's probably going to be um, a lot of uh, OnlyFan based NFT stuff probably coming on the back of this as well. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you might want to avoid. It's kind of the jest to it. But I do think it opens up legitimate projects into a bigger, wider audience. So I do see this as a positive, but do watch out because the NFT marketplace is, is, is insane at times. OK, so uh, look out for legitimate projects. Try to do as much research as you can. But I do see this as a much bigger uh, play for NFTs. And but NFTs do need to move much further away from the basics that we currently have. Uh, NFTs can do so much more than just images uh, or videos or, or music files. They can do so much more. Uh, and we are going to get there. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a journey, but this is a start of something really, really big. So I wanted to kind of talk about that. I think this is really good news for the crypto space and the bigger, wider adoption of blockchain technology. So let's go ahead and move on. We have this one. Now, this is a really super interesting one. Um, that the Chinese government holds more Bitcoin than micro strategy. So the Chinese government holds more Bitcoin than micro strategy. Speculation shows that the Chinese government might have other Bitcoin assets partly obtained from the plus token scam. Um, so if we come down into this fun fact, government uh, of uh, China uh, is a crypto whale. Uh, the Chinese authorities seized 194,000 Bitcoin, 833,000 Ether and other others from the plus uh, token scam in 2019. Uh, they uh, forfeited these $6 billion uh, worth of assets uh, to the national treasury. So that's a lot, right? And obviously, MicroStrategy is 130,000 Bitcoin. And um, so there are some big, big wallets out there. And China potentially is one of the biggest. Uh, and that is super, super interesting. So here you can see 194,000 Bitcoin, 138,000, uh, 133,000 Ether, 487 million XRP. Uh, we have, I think this is Bitcoin Cash at 79,000, 1.4 million Litecoin. <laughs> 27.2 <laughs> million EOS and 74,000 Dash, 6 billion Doge, so don't expect Doge to go very well, um, <laughs> and 213,000 USDT. Uh, so there's a lot of assets in China, right? And let's face it, with the combating against the dollar uh, index at the moment, maybe there's some selling pressure to happen with these particular assets. Let's see how that goes. Uh, one of the things that's for certain is they're going to be dumping this on the market at some point because it's in the treasury. They're going to want to capitalize in on that at some point in the future. So do watch out. This is a big, big uh, piece of news for crypto to understand that actually that's a serious amount of crypto held by China, who currently do not support cryptocurrencies, but they do support in a really big way blockchain technology. So holding these assets, they might want to liquidate them 
at some point so do watch out for that i do think it is going to be a big milestone for crypto so these are the main articles that i could see today that were actually of real interest to me right everything that's going on with the sec potential for settlement or uh, the sec rolling those dice and losing i think that's going to be super interesting dogecoin potentially go into all-time high i don't think so but you know if they do manage to fix those foundations and become a side chain of cardano that could be absolutely massive for both ada and doge that would be something i would like to see and you know it'd be good to actually take doge seriously for once on this channel of course the nfts exploding across facebook and instagram i think is a massive milestone for crypto adoption and we cannot forget that china yeah, well, we'll leave it there. That, that could be big. So we'll see how things kind of play out over the next few weeks. And if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Guys, until the next one, have a fantastic day.